May my words and all our thoughts be worthy of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Keep awake, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Human beings, or certainly civilized Western human, modern human beings, don't like to be reminded of the ultimate fallibility of human knowledge. Still less do they like to be reminded of the flaw which lurks within our nature, sometimes ignorance, sometimes duplicity, sometimes outright evil. But on Remembrance Day, we will have at least two minutes in which to contemplate those facts. And let us remember that every war at least every major European war since the Franco-Prussian War has been a miscalculation. The Franco-Prussian War was the last successful one. Bismarck got exactly what he wanted. He goaded the French into war. He aided the the unification of Germany. He gained territory. And there was a sudden, quick, swift, major military victory. Ever since then, It's all gone pear-shaped for everyone. In 1914, Austro-Hungary thought that they could subdue the troublesome Balkans by quashing Serbia. And Germany calculated that if it joined them, it could repeat the triumphs of the Franco-Prussian War. And we all know how tragically wrong those calculations went. In 1939, at least as far as I understand it, Hitler was convinced that France and Britain would behave just as pusillanimously over Poland as they had over Czechoslovakia. He expected to get away with it. He didn't expect a major European war. He did, however, intend at some point to invade the Soviet Union. And that proved a mistake and a miscalculation. Now, in the wake of that sorry history, I am aware that my piece in the news sheet might seem unduly complacent. But we have enjoyed 70 years or more without a major European war, or even a minor European war. We have enjoyed unparalleled prosperity, which we now take for granted, and untold benefits of progress and science. So it is worthwhile in our remembrance giving thanks for all that, for what was achieved by the sacrifice of those who went before us, even if it took two wars to get it right. But having said that, and to emphasize the fact you know neither the day nor the hour. Let me add a corrective, because you can't squeeze everything onto the news sheet. Let me point out that since the end of World War II, some three and a half thousand British servicemen and women have died in armed conflict. Some 12,000 have been wounded. They have died and suffered in Greece, in China, in Palestine, in Korea, in Kenya, in Malaya, in Egypt, in Cyprus, in Borneo, in the Falklands, in Northern Ireland, in the Balkans, the Persian Gulf, Sierra Leone, Afghanistan, and Iraq. Now I leave it as an exercise to you and your judgment as to which of these might be calculated to be a miscalculation. But I would point out that because of the miscalculation in Iraq, David Cameron did not feel able to put troops into Libya, though he would have liked to, and certainly could not commit anything to Syria, though he would have liked to. And again, I leave it to your judgment as to what was the wisdom of that decision. 
it does mean no British troops died. It became somebody else's problem. So let our thanksgiving be tempered with remembrance and consideration. For that way lies wisdom, not in simply learning the mistakes of the past war. It goes deeper than that. Every war is fought because we're repeating, we refuse to repeat the one before. And every war turns out differently. So let us have a deep remembrance. For that way lies wisdom. And let us pray for the world's leaders. For whether we like them or not, on their wisdom and their judgment and their calculation hangs the peace of the world. And we do not know the day or the hour, for wars have a habit of erupting unlooked for out of peace. We do not know when their wisdom and their judgment will become crucial. And as we remember those who have died and have served, let us remember that that means we do not know when next our armed forces may be called upon, when force may be calculated to be necessary. Let us pray for all involved in those calculations. For we know neither the day nor the hour.